Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading and uh, I hope you're doing well as usual and uh, if you're new here and we haven't met, my name is Joe and I'll be doing your reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay, so you have Taurus and any of those placements in your chart this should just about be the reading for you. Please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything and the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention, that's why they're timeless. Do feel free to browse my channel, you might want to check some of the other readings I've done for you in the past, but uh, more than anything, Taurus, do yourself a favor, don't just focus on your sun sign, check what other signs you have in your, in your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. And then you might want to check some of the readings for those specific signs, especially if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you. It's probably because your messages are coming stronger from those placements. That usually happens. It all depends on your current life path, okay? Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's the best way to support the channel. And uh, I do like to hear your feedback, okay? And thanks to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate it very much. All right, Taurus. Okay, let's see. Yeah, pretty good. Taurus, you've got the Ten of Swords as the heart of the matter of what this reading is all about, okay? Ouch. <laughs> Taurus, it's okay. It's that's it's the end, okay? Uh, whatever you've been through, whatever you've gone through, you know, um, all this backstabbing, betrayal, lying, cheating, or whatever you went through, okay? Painful um, situation. It's, it's, it's just, just no more room in your back for more swords, okay? Um, there's no more swords left for this uh, cheating or betrayal to continue or go, to keep going. Uh, some of you have really tried to keep this Hopeful, something about your faith, we hope, you know. Some of you had your hopes very high in this situation. And uh, yeah, it really did, uh, whatever happened, it really did a number on you, right? Okay, let's see. The energy that's crossing you could be a challenge or a blockage is the Hermit Virgo energy. Okay. Taurus, uh, you're being called here, you know, and you're having a hard time doing this. Is that maybe you're, you're trying to get some type of um, answers. Solution, guidance, understanding. Uh, some of you are going to have to understand that all the answers that you are seeking mostly are within you, okay? I don't know if there are the answers to the situation that you are dealing with, but they are the answers that will help you to continue uh, down your path and to move away from this and leave it all behind, okay? You have to follow your inner light. You have to follow your wisdom. You, some of you have to, strange, okay, um, some of you have to see or understand that you are very old souls and you're not listening to your higher self, to your intuition, to your, you know, but I also get a sense that some of you are still very young souls and that 
you're still learning things about your spiritual growth, your personal growth, okay? Whichever way resonates, you still, you know, you have to, you have to follow your inner light and get yourself out of whatever situation you're in, okay? Whether you have or not the knowledge, just listen to your intuition and uh, whatever you've been called to do, I think uh, you have to do, okay? That's the best way I can put it. Crowning you in your conscious mind and you are aware of this. Um, you're probably constantly thinking about it or, you know, it's always in your mind, seven of pentacles. And you know you invested your time and your energy in a situation that just didn't give you anything in return, right? Uh, somebody, something or someone could have really cheated on you somehow. And I don't know what situation you're dealing with because it can be different for each one of you. Okay, this is why I try to keep my readings as general. But, you know, I think some of you, it could have even been a uh, business, uh, uh, an investment. Well, even a relationship can be an investment in a way, right? But somebody could have done, somebody did you very dirty. That's just what I can see clearly. And you invested a lot of time, energy, effort in this situation. And it really didn't give you anything in return. I think uh, it took more than what you got in return. Bad investment, right? Okay. This is why you, you, you feel betrayed, cheated, lied. Okay. Don't try to seek answers in this situation. That's the best advice I can give you, okay? Try to move away from this, try to move on, and use your own knowledge, your own discernment, your best judgment to walk out of this. Use your own knowledge, use your own intuition, okay? This is why we have this hermit crossing you, okay? Whatever you need to know, to be able to move on, it's deep within yourself. Okay. Below you, you should be conscious mind and you are not aware of this. And you should, because maybe your higher self or divine is trying to tell you this. The King of Cups, and this does not surprise me. They're trying to tell you, Taurus, that you are going to have to be very, you know, I get two messages, but the first one is you're gonna have to be very strong with your own emotions you're gonna to have to get a hold of your own emotions to continue okay don't let your emotions get the best of you don't let your emotions deceive you some of you are going to be very cold-hearted or have to be very cold-hearted to move on okay if there's someone or something who's going to try to ask you for forgiveness after this betrayal no you're gonna have to you have to be quite cold-hearted or even emotionless and just focus on you this is someone who has finally mastered their emotions okay and the second message is also very important um, please don't allow the situation to make you you know emotionless bitter cold-hearted from now on okay um, it usually happens and it's very important that you don't allow that to happen okay don't let your emotions get the best of you also in that sense you see sometimes uh, we can get so hurt that we block ourselves and that's not going to help you much either okay so please uh, please be aware of that you're going to have to be very cold-hearted with the situation and the person or the people who did you dirty. Okay? But don't allow that to affect you to the point where you're going to be that way from now on. You know? Okay? It's very important. 
please. The reason why you're going through this or it's the energy behind you uh, pushing you through this. Recent past maybe or where you're coming from or what you leave what you are leaving or should be leaving behind. It's the King of Pentacles. So now we have two kings. I think more than anything, this is a reason why you're going through this. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I think for those of you, this was a bad investment. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this could have been a desperate move for some of you and it turned out really bad, okay? That's for some of you. Uh, because I'm, I'm seeing the King of Pentacles in reverse also. And uh, it could have been something like that. Okay. But uh, Taurus, this is, this is your energy. I forgot to tell you that. Okay. Because it's mostly Taurus uh, energy. I think uh, this was meant for you to... You were meant to go through this as part of your personal growth. Okay. And I hate to say it was part of your life lessons. I hate to call you out this way. Some of you needed to be humbled. Okay. It could be. But then again, you know, I just think it was just part of your life path for you to become a more solid, firm individual. To grow. Okay. I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but I, some of you, it's something about a mistake you did, okay, in your past. And it's like it came and bit you in the ass somehow. Especially if it has to do with investments or money matters, okay? That's for some of you, okay? In front of you, where you're headed to near future, where what's coming towards you is the Ace of uh, Wands. And uh, Taurus, you are being given another opportunity here or another chance. Not in this situation. Okay? I don't see it that way. I see it for you to start a new beginning somewhere else. Very promising, very exciting. Okay? But it could be another opportunity. I think a new beginning should always be seen as a new opportunity, right? And I guess so. I guess you were meant to go through this so that you could have this new beginning. Okay? Very exciting, very promising. Uh, something that would you would probably enjoy very much very passionate maybe some of you had to clear some karma with a ten of swords because it's the ending it's, there's no more swords there's no more tens or endings maybe with a hermit challenging you it's about maybe you're having a hard time seeing this because a hermit is also that individual who has to grow you know to become wiser, stronger. It's not just about, you know, um, withdrawing from anything. But something about your wisdom and your growth. And some of you might need to go through some deep inner work. So then you can move on to this new beginning. Okay. Two kings, Taurus. Okay, that's a lot of divine masculine energy. Doesn't matter what gender you are, but. I 
I sense that some of you need your divine masculine or needed your divine masculine side to be humbled. Maybe that's part of the problem. Okay. This is how you should see or respond to the situation or it's a representation of you in the situation, three of pentacles. You were tested. And you have to understand that it was part of your growth. You were tested for you to see something mostly with yeah to see something within yourself if you do accept this as part of your life path if you do go deep within and do the work on yourself to grow spiritually personally you will pass this test okay you are also understanding that you weren't meant to be in this situation or not to stay you don't have to stay in this situation you're not meant to stay in the situation where you were backstabbed betrayed okay actually you are more be much better than these other individuals but you're just starting to realize that okay this was a situation that was meant to raise your vibration or your frequency probably you did need that humbling after all okay and there's nothing wrong with that we will have to go through that sometimes It could have been a life lesson. This is the energy that's surrounding its influencing is the chariot, cancerian energy. Taurus, you are being told to start moving forward, to move on, to move away, to be confident and trust yourself and that you are in charge of your life now. Yeah, you did have to pay something here. Okay? Now you are free to move forward and move on with your life with some purging cleansing that you had to go through and yeah it hurt it usually does that's why it's called a purging that's why it's cleansing okay that makes sense okay stop thinking about all the waste of time that you spent in the situation and you just didn't get anything in return okay you have to let go of that you start have to start going within okay and do some inner work and get a hold of your emotions it's very important that you do that don't let your emotions uh betray you or get the best of you okay hopes and fears we have the wheel of fortune and yeah, it makes sense you know you just want things to improve now right you want things to you want the tables to turn please right you want the wheel wheel to start turning and spinning in your favor it will if you do uh, let go of this forget it go deep within do the work within yourself understand that it was a test you passed it especially if you accept acceptance is the key to this test accepting that you had to go through it and even probably even saying you know expressing some type of gratitude for the purging <laughs> for the cleansing and you know king of cups also could be that cleansing energy 
not necessarily someone who gets control of their emotions, but it's just someone who finally became very pure, you know? So yeah, you want things to, you want this wheel of fortune to spin in your favor now. And you want things to be better now. And I think they should, if you do what I'm saying, okay? Just carry on, move on. It's time for you to keep moving. Yeah. Exactly. Outcome or advice is the lovers, Gemini energy. This is about finally coming into union with something that is divinely meant for you. The situation could have also been divinely meant for you somehow. It was meant to strip you down to the core, spiritual. Okay, see how they're naked. There's no. It's being vulnerable, but not feeling vulnerable. You know what I mean? It's that purity. And it was meant for you. But then again, you know, once you go through all this process, you take this Ace of Wands, you take this new beginning that has been offered to you, then you will be headed towards something that is divinely meant for you. Something that is finally resonating at the same frequency that you're resonating. Because this was meant for you to grow. To, to be able to have that thing that's waiting for you. Whatever it is, each one of you has a specific one thing divinely meant for you waiting at the end of the road. But you couldn't come into union without before going through this. It's not paying debts. Understand that. It's about purging you, cleaning you, working on you so that you can then raise your vibration. That's the part that we have to work on. You have to go deep within. Once you do that, then you're going to be able to come into union with this one thing that is meant for you divinely meant for you okay but yeah the situation was divinely meant for you also it was all part of your path it's a divine plan and yeah it hurts it hurts no pain no gain that's what they say okay eight of cups let's move on now you're not meant to stay here anymore it's it's not the, it's not emotionally fulfilling to you anymore maybe it was at some point but not anymore okay why because you are probably emotionally growing maybe you're not becoming bitter maybe you're just emotionally growing which i hope you know but don't let your emotions die out the, because of this on the contrary you have to understand that you know so it's for you to grow and to heal something. Conquering something. The King of Pentacles behind you. It's, it's, it's conquering. Okay. Seven of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Don't resist anything, please. And don't try to control anything. Just release what has to be released, okay? But don't try to resists anything you're not meant to okay just walk away move on and leave behind what doesn't emotionally fulfill you anymore okay you're meant to move on now to something that is divinely it's like a glove you know this is gonna fit like a glove tailored precisely for your own self I guess that's why the King of Pentacles is behind you. Is this the reason why you want, we're supposed to go through this? Is to bring you this stability, this abundance, this sense of self-control I get with both kings. And it had to humble you down. 
After all, yes, it had to humble you. There's nothing wrong with being humble. Sometimes we need that. Sometimes we, we forget who we are and we have to be reminded. And we have to put the work on ourselves on that. Okay. What other messages do you have for Taurus, please, regarding this reading or situation? If there's something else they need to know, what would it be, please? What other messages do you have for Taurus, please? Knight of Swords in the bottom. Just move freely. Okay. Break yourself free from this. You have finally gained or should be gaining the clarity and understanding that it's time to move on. Okay. Okay. Knight of Cups, another knight. Move towards something more fulfilling. Okay, to what makes you emotionally fulfilling, to something more happy. It's a quest, a new beginning, a journey. Okay, and do please heal, do the inner work that you have to do. Okay, because you have to be very, you have to be very aware and connected with your emotions. That's what I get with this card, you know. Don't ignore your emotions, please. Whatever you went through did play, I mean, really did a number on you. I mean, but on the contrary, don't let it affect you, okay? You have to leave this pain behind and understand that it was meant for you to have a, a passionate new beginning, a, a new gift, okay? So be grateful for what happened, even if it doesn't seem like you should, you'll understand it later. Okay, let's close your reading with a Woodland Warden's Oracle deck. And uh, remember this message may or may not correlate with the reading, but it may be just something additional that you need to hear. And uh, it might help you at some point further down the line. Let's just take it. Oh, I'll take that one. Rarely I get jumpers on this, but... You got the salamander and black pepper, which means... Inspiration. That's the ace of wands. Inspiration. Passion. New beginning. Creativity. Number 17. Inspiration says, Symbols of fire and heat, the salamander and black pepper call us to be full of energy and inspired. Both Aristotle and Pliny, the elder, wrote of the salamander's ability to withstand flames, and the creature's association with fire is echoed in ancient Greek myth. Black pepper or peppercorn has an earthy flavor with a spicy kick, making it a perfect match for the fire-friendly salamander. In the upright position it says that a new opportunity awaits. To fulfill it, you must remain inspired, applying your full energy to your creative endeavors. That's it. With the King of Cups and that, you know, don't let your emotions die because then your creativity is also going to be affected. That's for some of you, okay? If you're having this new opportunity, especially if it's creative or passionate, don't let your emotions die on you, okay? Don't let the situation get the best of your emotions. It's very important, okay? So why we have the lover's card at the end. So it's about love, enjoying. It's about coming in union with something that we truly desire. How can you come into union with something so beautiful if you're just going to be all grumpy and shitty and, you know, it doesn't work that way, okay? So, yeah, you, you do have to remain joyful, playful, no matter how 
painful the the, 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 the backstabbing was okay so we have three swords heal please okay in the reverse it says that you may be feeling the heat stakes are high and the pressure is getting to you remember the salamander's ability to withstand flames and hold your ground two questions that you have to ask yourself with this card is what inspires me and the second question is how do I invite and incorporate more inspiration into my life all right Taurus, that's the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. If you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And, uh, well, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Taurus.